here in round, <clears throat> excuse me, here in round two, we've got the choice again. We'll play first, and yeah, we're going to keep this. Don't have a white manos, but uh, eh, we've got some reasonable plays. I guess we'll open it up with the Horde Ambusher into the Skull Hunter, is my guess. And uh, see where we go from there. Let's see what our opponent's doing. All right, let's just jam a Horde Ambusher here. I'd like to get my Skull Hunter online next turn if I can. I also don't mind making trades. They make our Scavenger cheaper. Scavenger is actually very good in a deck like this uh, because you can make early trades with stuff like Typhoid Rats and Skull Hunters and stuff like that. So, a nice perk. Another black deck, definitely expected. All right. No biggie there, although we are losing out on Skull Hunter value, but that's all right. We'll just drop a Skull Hunter here. Could play the Sure Shot and wait for it, but eh, I'm okay with just playing it, trading with Morphs. If I get to trade here, I can play my Scavenger next turn, which is quite nice. So I'm kind of hoping we get that opportunity. Well, I'm not sure he wants to trade. <laughs> not exactly convinced he wants to trade, but... One uh, one kind of nice pro of this sure shot is he has used his debilitating injury, which means he doesn't necessarily have another one, and uh, the sure shot could potentially kill the death dealer. I guess that's not super likely, but it is something that could happen. I just got to jam two creatures in one turn. And we do have our white manas now, so at least there's... At least we can play everything in our deck at this point. Okay, he's pre-combat pumping his Death Dealer, which means Savage Punch to our Sure Shot, which is kind of sad, but... Can't do anything about it, and I guess we get to follow up with a scavenger, so not the worst. Certainly not good, but uh, what can you do? Sometimes your opponent has Death Dealer, Savage Punch, and gets you pretty good. Uh, ooh, Ponyback's actually a great draw. We're still going to play a scavenger, because next turn I can do, well, yeah, well, I guess if we get another land, we can hard cast Pony back and then play the Raider Spoils. Or we can play Raider Spoils to draw the card. I don't exactly know, but we are, in fact, in a, you know, it's a fairly tight racing situation. He's certainly ahead, but uh, if he doesn't have an answer for the Scavenger and we're able to at least supply some chump blockers with our Pony back Brigade, we could actually steal this game. I mean, Pony back with the Raider Spoils is quite good. It's a lot of uh, dudes on board with some good power level. If I get the land, I think I gotta slam the pony back. So we're gonna take the Death Dealer. See what his follow-up play is. He is pumping. Okay. Well, I'm okay with that. <clears throat> I mean, currently very much losing the race, but like I said, with the pony back, we're in okay shape, actually. Ooh, Frontier Macedon follow-up's pretty, pretty tight for him. All right, well, we're actually in an okay place, so now we get to hard cast the pony back brigade. I get to swing with a scavenger. Uh, I mean, granted, I could play the Raider Spoils to draw the card, but that's okay. I think we just drop our brigade... And pass. Uh, I guess I have to hope he doesn't have a Death Frenzy. But at this point, if he plays Death Frenzy, he loses his Death Dealer. So, not the worst. As far as blocks go. Well, let me think about this. If I, Raiders, if I don't block with anything, he pumps to the gills. This thing deals, what, 8 damage to me. If he has another black mana, potentially 10 damage to me, taking me to 1. 
And then I follow up with Raider Spoils. I deal 3, 7, 10. Well, I do have Lethal on Crackback, technically. So we'll see what his plan is. I may just take all this damage. I mean, granted, I'm dead to like a Become Immense, but I, uh, I don't mind kind of just taking this, I, I think. Well, let me see. If I... If I, ch all right, if I don't chump, how much damage am I exactly dealing, even if he has a blocker? Let's say he plays a blocker. I can swing back for 3, 7, 10, uh, 12, 14, 16, which means if he blocks one of our three powers, guy, three powers guys, we can only deal 13. So we're actually going to be one short of lethal if he has a follow-up creature, which I can't imagine he would swing in with both. If he didn't have a follow-up creature, I think I want to force him to regen here, actually. So I'm going to block the Death Dealer, force some mana out of him. I feel like this is actually the, the most detrimental to him. Yeah, I mean, I, granted, um, it basically just forced him to do that. And yeah, like I was thinking... Now he can't, like, do a follow-up play. He does have, like, bounce effects he could do. But he also can't regen his Death Dealer here, which is certainly worthy of noting. But I think we need to do the Raider Spoils. So let's do that. I'm going to leave back, I guess, two tokens. Like I said, it could have a bounce effect here, but I think leaving back two tokens is fairly safe. And yeah, I think we'll draw. I mean, we're in a bit dangerous spot here, but got a couple blockers. And uh, ooh, wish I hadn't tapped all my red mana. What was I thinking? Oh no, Alex. You didn't use your head on that one. Although, I guess I wouldn't be able to anticipate I could... Well, I should have been able to anticipate I'd draw a mana off of two cards. I mean, we've got two blockers, so really all he needs to do is have a fight spell or awaken... Awaken the bear, which is dead. Um... So I definitely wish I'd gotten, <laughs> I left a red mana there so I could bathe his uh, death dealer. Yeah, so he couldn't regen. If he doesn't have trample here, though, and he swings with both, even if he has removal, I can still block something, you know? But regardless, I, I definitely played that loose. I don't know why I tapped all my red mana. So we're definitely blocking both. If he swings, of course. Just swinging there. Well, guess I'm blocking. Could have Awakened the Bear, which I guess would be lethal, but I still don't think double blocking is necessarily correct. I mean, I think the main thing is he could still Awaken the Bear plus pump, so regardless of whether I block with two guys does not matter. <laughs> we won. Wow. How is our deck winning? <laughs> Just amazed. All right. So what did we see? We don't have a sideboard, do we? I, I keep thinking we have a sideboard. I guess uh, against enchantments, we have a sideboard. Against uh, a bunch of X1s, we have a sideboard. Against artifacts, we have a sideboard. That's about it. So I think we're going to keep the deck the way it is and see if we can continue to be lucky and fortunate here. Despite my... <laughs> I'm misplaying with a mediocre deck and winning. That is pretty awesome. 
this hand's good. We've got all three colors, uh, reasonable distribution, potentially some early trades for our scavenger setup. Opponent mulligans on the play, of course. So we can't get a rat off the top. Called shot? Nope, not this time. All right. So we'll play the Bloodfell Caves into the Skull Hunter Expert. See how that pans out for us. No two drop for my opponent. I guess that's nice. All right. Another land. Not exactly what I'm looking for, but that's all right. So I've got a Skull Hunter now. Hopefully it's something I can trade with if he has a play. Ooh, Rakshasa Secret. Well, guess it's really not that bad for us, to be honest. He basically just made our scavenger cheaper, so no biggie. Ooh, War Shrieker's actually a pretty nice uh, draw. Forgot that we have two of those. I would say those might actually be our highest impact uh Aggressive cards, just because War Shriekers let you just power out your three drops, of which we have a ton. Debilitating injury on the expert, you got it. All right, so now I now we can actually do War Shrieker plus Scavenger here. That's pretty insane, actually. We've got a pretty awesome turn. So we get to swing War Shrieker Scavenger. Pretty nice uh, turn four, three three flyer and a three three ground beater. So, pretty good. Now we just need a Lightning Shrieker to really get a bunch of damage through. Death Frenzy, it's like we're pretty immune to that at the moment, which is nice. Alpine Grizzly, not that big of a deal. Typhoid Rats, fine draw. So, I guess we'll trade off our War Shrieker for a Grizzly. I mean, alternatively, I can do Skull Hunter, but he's, he's, I think we just get dudes off the board at this point. Like, I don't mind trading my War Shrieker for a, a Scavenger. I was thinking I could just swing Skull Hunter and Scavenger, but that's probably too cute. We're just trying to get damage in. Let's play another land at this point. It doesn't matter that we're not leaving anything up. There's a chance he's got more discard, and we may need the fifth land for our uh, Lightning Shrieker. So, all right, he can't even regen it, so we're definitely swinging into that. No trades. Now, that's pretty interesting. Two cards left in our opponent's hand. He is now in Lightning Shrieker range. And uh, what else would we like to see? I guess a removal spell certainly wouldn't hurt. Uh, our Dash Hill Giant, which is typically a pretty mediocre card. All right, Feral Crewshock. No problem. So we still get to swing with uh, Scavenger and Rats, which we will be doing. Hmm. So now he's got to answer our Scavenger as well as put down another blocker for our two ground dudes. All right, that does work, but it's a trigger, so that's not exactly going to work. It does have to have a removal spell as well, but at this point, I'm not even incentiv incentivized to attack with anything but the scavenger, so. We'll do that. Last card is nothing. All right, got match two. Next card is Ponyback into Shadow Spear into Raider. Wow. Ponyback into Shadow Spear into Raider Spoils into Sure Shot. <laughs> we had a pretty incredible turn progression coming up. But uh, yeah, so just beat another deck with pure mediocrity. Never ceases to amaze me. All right. Uh, certainly proud of how our deck's doing.
considering how unimpressive it looks. So very happy with that. All right, we'll see you in the finals.